Welcome back to more Final Fantasy XIV, everyone. Hello, Rolly, and hello, Izar. Hello, Harley. Hello, Zeb. Hello, Treos. Kev. Kev, thank you. Thank you for that sub. Thank you. I appreciate it. The resub, in fact. Uh, I've got my aggressively orange Mio. Um, looks, it's more orange in real life, but it is is as aggressive as it looks on on the on the camera. Treo says, "My mom says hi, Skippy. Hi, hello." Um, it looks orange. It looks a little. It's it's a little more yellow, I think, in there. Maybe I don't know. Listen. I am of the opinion that there's really only nine colors. Pink is like light red. It's not actually pink. Uh, it's Mio. It's not creepy. Or Harley. It's not creepy. It's Mio. It's Mio. Um, I destroyed myself over the last couple of days. It looks like tangerine. It is a tangerine orange flavor of Mio. It's one of the vitamin ones because that's the only one they had that had the flavor. At, at in stock anyway I destroyed myself over the past couple of days I had to go and buy new sheets uh, I had to go and um, re uh, get a replacement uh, shelf thing for my shower because that broke um, I did three loads of laundry uh, I mowed the front and back lawn uh, with uh, bagging it this time because I always put the first uh, the first mow of the year into the uh, into the compost. Thank you. Unfortunately, my hips, knees, and ankles are now uh, uh, most assuredly uh, at war with me uh, because old and arthritis. So, however, I found that sitting or, or or laying down or whatever for any length of time makes it worse. It makes it, yes, Izzy, head, shoulders, knees, and toes. It makes me stiffen up. So I have left the uh, the redemptions on in order to keep me moving and stretching. Uh, and I know you all enjoy the, enjoy the sound of my pain. So um, left those on. The new prices are active for coffee beans. Yes, yes, really, at knees and toes. You guys are five, and I love it. I absolutely Chad is absolutely five right now, and I love everything about it. You guys are great. You guys are fantastic. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, uh, I didn't get to trimming, but it it was long enough, thick and thick enough that my electric mower took both batteries to do front and back. I I doubled the no. I um, yes yes, I doubled the price. But I lowered the price of the t of the one card tarot reading. Uh, yeah, there's just there's there's just yes, I did roll it. I did because it was not putting a dent in anything. But oh, I did forget to do something. Hold on, while we're talking about it. Why do I have a team in my head? That's weird. Why do I have a team? Yeah, I had to I had to open up the stream for a second. Harley says I wielded a sledgehammer today, busting up some cement. I think my arms may hate me tomorrow. I'm surprised they don't hate you right now. Uh, I think you're awfully lucky about that. In fact, um, what was this thing called again? Uh, PC, oh, it's called PC Panel Mini. Hold on. Da, 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 da. Where's is it here? No, that's not it. What in the what? This, yeah, let's. Sorry, guys. I uh, am doing trying to find the name of the thing that I'm giving away to you guys, and uh, or then putting up on the game. Uh, say so if I do just this and get rid of this all right yeah it's there but the URL the okay it is called okay hold on 
I'll finish a sentence eventually. Okay? Okay? One day I will finish a sentence. Uh, garage sale giveaway. Uh, uh, the winner will, uh, of a d20 dice roll will win either uh, win their choice of a game from the list or the PC panel volume uh, peripheral. I think that's what it's called. Gold Mount 10,000, number of days, 30, create, and start, start challenge. There we go. Okay, um, Harley, you needed to come in like a wrecking ball? I love it when a plan comes together, right, Rolian? Uh, is, is this where we start peeing Skippy for the hell of it? Yes, that is exactly when you should have done that. Like, 13 text messages. Harley says, ooh, the name of the thing from the stuff for the doohickey. Exactly, Harley. The Dooley Hooper. This is the Dooley Hooper? It is an adjustment, a fully configurable uh, volume knob, analog volume knobs. You could press them in for switches. It takes uh, USB-C. Um, it works. It It works. Uh, I had no issues with how it worked. It just didn't fit into... I tried multiple occasions on uh, using it. And I really wanted it to work the way I wanted it to work. But my, my setup and my my workflow for stream just didn't didn't jive with it. So now I'm going to hand... I'm going to pass this on to you guys. So if you would like a PC panel... Um, my son is yelling in my ear. I didn't hear you. No, there's no coleslaw. Wait, chicken dinner? What the hell? Harley is contributing. Yeah, okay. Oh, Zeb wants. Okay. Zeb, you should enter too. Um, it's It does not... I'm not sending it with the USB cable because I'm short on those right now. But I am... Wow. Okay. 6K out of 10K already. Fantastic. Uh, Zeb really wants. Harley says, if Zeb wants, then I want it too. Nice. And roll, wow. Wow. 8k out of 10k we may we may we may be rolling a d20 a d20 real, real soon here um anywho it's it, it it works it just didn't do what i wanted it to do or it, no that's not true did what i wanted it to do but i didn't end up using it like and and there were other ways to do the thing i wanted to do so uh what else so let's see i destroyed my body Got a lot done. Skippy didn't use it as intended, Izzy says. I mean, that's that's the the way of things. Izzy says, um, not sure that helps. Really, it says, what do you want to do? Right? I mean, right now, I, you know, get drunk. I don't know. I'm not drinking tonight, though. Uh, drink my meal, maybe? What did I, oh, it was, so, I wanted to be able to have my headphones and speakers plugged in at the same time and be able to switch back and forth between them. Also, to um, adjust Discord volume, but I haven't been doing a whole lot of multiplayer Discord stuff. Also, uh, uh, Discord, for whatever reason, whatever update happened to Discord, now it works? So the thing I was trying to solve specifically was, I think it was Space Pickle that always came through super duper quiet, doesn't happen anymore. So um, whatever was going on at the time was fixed now, so I didn't have the need for that part of it, and um, my uh, sound drivers let me switch. I just had to find the right config box to uncheck in Windows, uh, and... Um, and uh, now I can do it manually outside of the box. I don't need the box to do it. So, and I only ever used two of the knobs. One for main volume and one for Discord. And I'm certain that others out there can use all four knobs. Um, so, uh, there's that. There was I just thought of something else. And now I've completely, it has escaped my brain meats. That's what she said? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, 
Um, it was important. My brain's telling me it was important. Uh, why is that all the way over there? What the hell? All right. Um, I may be a little bit scatterbrained today, guys. I had I made dinner. I remembered to eat today, uh, which is a thing that's been popping up suddenly. Apparently, I've I've been forgetting to eat meals slightly unmoored from the flow of time as it were um what did i have for dinner i made some pork chops the last of my pork chops that i had in the freezer uh and i made uh i fried up some american fries potatoes i basically i sliced up some potatoes you know chopped them up into into like quarters uh and um and fried those in some olive oil and seasonings and uh, so American fries, you know, and uh, that was my dinner. It was very, it's literally meat and potatoes. Uh, so it was, uh, it was delicious. It was absolutely delicious. Um, I, well, I seasoned the crap out of everything so I could taste it. Yeah, Izzy says, they're, you, she's used to scattered. You guys are used to scattered. That's fine. Oh, now I remember what the thing was. So there is fair warning, heads up. I don't know if, who has seen it and who hasn't. There is a rumor going around that apparently is founded, but I haven't dug deeply or read any of the articles linked, but there's a rumor going around that um, after next, sometime next year, 2025, uh, Microsoft will start charging a yearly fee for security updates for Windows 10 which, you know, is basic, and, and to have the license activated. Uh, the first year, it'll be 60-something dollars. The second year, it'll double to 120. In the third year, it'll be 240-some. I don't want Windows 11, Roliad. I don't want it. I do not want it. There are several aspects of Windows 11 that make it a no-go for me. Also, that closes out of the loop every computer that cannot uh, uh, meet Windows 11's bullshit uh, system requirements. So, no. Uh, so, uh, at some point next year, I may be heading back to Linux. For just 10, like, old versions or all versions? Like, just Windows 10. Uh, the, it is an effort, from what I understand, to, uh, to push people to Windows 11. And I don't want 11. There are several several things about Windows 11 that I simply, like, that. it's a hard no. It's a hard no for me. Um, so, there's that. Uh, yeah, I think that was it. Let's, uh, maybe, maybe we should play a video game, you guys. Maybe we should play a video game. Unless someone wants to donate that last last 2,000 coffee beans for that garage sale giveaway. And again, it's just a rumor, you guys. It's not, I don't know that this is for sure, but it's, it's, um, it's spreading like wildfire. So I do not know how real it is. Uh, here is, once again, Skipper Jehoshaphat uh, in his new swanky getup, mildly pirate-like with his staff. Oop, that's not what I wanted to do. With his staff that is clipping through the hood. Why? Why? Why can't you? You know how the... When you design the stuff... Why is my staff so horny? Because it's mine. You've seen how I play in this game and how I stop and get distracted? Oh my god. <laughs> there might be some thirst going on. Not your staff, your head. Whoa, 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 Treos. Whoa. Now you're getting personal. Whoa. Oh, because he's a dragon man. He's called, the race is called Aura. 
but uh, I, I insist that they are dragon people. It's this dragon man. He's got a tail too, see? He's got a tail. So yeah, uh, my character, just like me, comes horny by default. So let's uh, let's let's play. I have no idea what's next after we completed that dungeon. So how does he put on shirts very carefully? Is everything he wears button up? Maybe I don't know. No, so far I've been wearing a lot of robes, lots of robes. No wings though, so he doesn't have to worry about wings yet. Guys, I don't know if you've ever played the critically acclaimed MMO with the free trial, the blah, 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 blah. Am I, I'm robbing Peter to pay Paul. No. No. You're something by default. hey ho! Not robbing, robing, robing Peter to pay Paul. No, also no. Also no. Uh, Treyos also no. Peter won't appreciate appreciate that. That's right. He, Peter doesn't like to wear robes. All right. Uh, I have at least one. I have one quest left. Though I could take the quest that this guy was offering last time, which I'm probably gonna do. Let's take this quest. Call of the Forest. Uh, Badaron has informed on it. Has information on a new task. I think, uh, as he says, I don't think Peter would appreciate you stealing off with his clothes either. Yeah, they wouldn't fit me. He's thinner than I am. Treos says, if you do the quest again, is it a request? Yes, Treos, absolutely, without a doubt. Um, as he says, I mean, you're not his type. That's also true. All right, um, accept. Ready to hear about the job then? Like I said, the request comes from our sister guild in Gridania. Uh, these are, I don't know, uh, and that's all I know. But whatever it is you get asked to do, I somehow doubt it would pose any trouble for adventurers who survived the bedlam in Sestasha, which we did last session. If you think you might be interested, you'll want to have words with Mother Miaune, my counterpart in Gridania. Good luck, mate. All right, let's um, see. This is this is more how I was dressed, like this person right here. In fact, this guy's kind of a cousin, but there's a, there's a, a a very pale white skin version of the uh, of the the Ara clans as well. So, all right, let's go to uh, the Golden Airship ticket. To, as his manservant gamely struggles to maintain his grip on a towering stack of prizes, the well-heeled youth regales you with tales of his exploits at the Gold Saucer, the entertainment venue to which all of Ulda, which is the town we started in, uh, the city we started in, seems irresistibly drawn. Still basking in the glow of victory, he magnanimously furnishes you with a golden airship ticket. Present it at the airship landing and see for yourself what all the fuss is about. I have to... Wow, that's the whole map. I need to go back to Thanalan. So there, okay, so yeah, what we need to do is to go back to Thanalan. Land, 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 land. Um, let's just use the... We can teleport instead of using the airship. Let's just teleport. Um, not Lanasa. We want to go to... World, we want to go to, this is Lanasa, that's not what I want, Thanalan, here we go, we want to go to Thanalan, we want to go to Ulda, not, ah, maps, Thanalan, no, what, no, no, Thanalan, I'm clicking on the wrong stuff now, here, yes, Finally. Here we go. I can figure this system out again. Really. 
Also, let's see who's on. Let's see if anybody's on. More energon cubes. More, I say. Is the words and mouse coordination no worky? Your face no worky. Uh. They're on. Jeb, Pastor Jeb is on as well. I'm not going to bug him. Uh, let's do this. We're going to... Oh, we got to go all the way up top. We got to go all the way up top. So let's go to the... The little crystal. Wasn't there a little crystal over here? I was sure there was a little crystal over here. Where'd the little crystal go? Maybe it's over here. There it is. We want to go up to the airship landing. There we go. Okay. Alright, here is the golden airship. This is the reception desk for flights bound for the Manderville Gold Sauce. It's Manderville? Oh no! Okay. Crystal was the other direction. Okay. That's fair. Not like I've ever played this game. No, but you've seen me play it. Uh, before proceeding, I must ask that you submit your ticket for inspection. Ahem, you do have a ticket, yes. Hand over the ticket. It appears that everything is in order, and the airship will be departing shortly before the next bell. Shall I reserve a seat for you? Yes. Please and thank you. I ended up traveling by airship anyway. Oh, so classy! What in the shit is that? Guys, what have we gotten ourselves into? That's not my face. This is not my face. Why are there kids at the gambling hall? So many children. At the casino. A giant cactuar sanctuary? Maybe. I do not look like the type to come here at all. It's a resort town, I guess. The Manderville Gold Saucer. Oh no. Well, they call it a sanctuary, but really, they're luring everyone in for the cactars to consume. Yeah, that's probably likely. That was it. That was the whole quest. Now accessible. Okay. I got Gil for that. Airship Ticketer. Uh, hold on. Manderville Gold Saucer. Welcome to the Manderville Gold Saucer where all your dreams can come true. That is, if, if all your... That is, all your dreams can come true if you have enough Manderville Gold Saucer points. Gil can be exchanged for MGP at the main counter in the middle of Entrance Square. The current rate is 10 gil for 1 MGP. Uldan Law prevents the Gold Saucer from exchanging MGP if the patron already possesses more than 500. Okay, I'm back. I have no idea what you said about Windows 11. My son decided that he was going to choose right then to have an in-depth conversation with me. That's how kids work. I can relate. MGP cannot be converted back into gil, but the points can be used to purchase an assortment of wonderful prizes from the prize claim attendant, also located at the main counter at Entrance Square. Yeah, this is absolutely a casino. The attendant at the airship landing seems eager to welcome you. Gold sauce, accept. 
Welcome, honored guests, to the Manderville Gold Saucer, where your wildest dreams are ever but a Carter Chocobo's beak away from coming true. If this is your first visit, nothing would please us more than to give you a full tour of our establishment that you might enjoy its wonders to the fullest. At the conclusion of the tour, it is our custom to offer our esteemed patrons a complimentary gift straight from the vault of our illustrious proprietor himself. Consider it Lord Manderville's way of personally thanking you for your patronage. Should you wish to take the tour, pray proceed to the main counter over there and speak with the receptionist. On behalf of the management, may I take this opportunity to thank you for choosing the Gold Saucer. Rest assured, my colleagues and I will spare no effort in seeing that your visit is pleasant and profitable one. May fortune smile upon you. Uh. Oh, oh my. Oh, oh, oh my. Oh, okay. He's, all right. This is as sure as it. Th Hell, hi there. Hey, how's <laughs> it going? Uh. The Mandervilius. What in the what? Okay, let's uh, talk to this person. Welcome, traveler, to the Gold Saucer. This is the main counter where you can purchase tickets for the mini cact pot, acquire and redeem Manderville Gold Saucer points, and much, much more. But what in the world are Manderville Gold Saucer points? I hear you cry. A most astute question, and one which I will be only too happy to answer. But first, if I may direct your gaze to the left. Beyond those majestic gates, you will find Chocobo Square. Uh, home to the Chocobo Racing Circuit. Aye, what, what Chocobo owner has not dreamed of pitting their fleetest bird against the realm's finest in a pulse-quickening dash for fame and fortune? Truly, it is a sport of sultans. Some people spend their whole life in here. Oh, no. That seems like a gambling addiction. And should you care, desire a more elaborate contest of strategy, you will surely find it in Minion Square at the Lord of Verminion Tables, where would-be generals pit armies of minions against one another in battles for honor and glory. Now, where were we? Ah, yes, the Manderville Gold, Gold Saucer Points. Put simply... MGP, as we call it for short, is the currency by which dreams are bought and sold within these halls. But my associate here beside me can tell you more, including how to go about acquiring some MGP of your very own. Pray speak with him to continue your tour. Uh, this one. Maybe? Or this one over here. Are they the same? Prize claim. Cact pot broker. Well, I guess we'll go to MGP exchange. Who is this person? Gerard Sevenson. Seems to be following me around. So you've, you're about to experience the wonders of the gold saucer for the first time. How I envy you. Ah, but before you venture forth, you'll want to exchange a share of your gill for MGP, a service which it is my great honor to provide. With MGP in your coin purse, you'll be able to enjoy all of the fabulous attractions we have to offer and all of the wonderful games. If you play them with skill, you'll find your little stack of points increasing 10, 20, even 100 fold. Now that you know the fundamentals, you're ready to step out onto the floor of the gold saucer. Your tour will continue at Card Square to the southwest, the card trainer there will be your guide. I would, of course, be happy to exchange some of your gill for MGP before you venture on. While my associates and I strive to leave nothing unexplained, there truly is no substitute for first-hand experience. And I heartily, re heartily recommend trying your hand at our many amusements for yourself. All right. Can I exchange with you? Okay. Yep. Uh, gill required. How many? Uh, I don't know. Let's do 50 MGP. Proceed. Yes. Okay. Is this the card person? Speak with me. No. Speak with a triple triad trader at cards. Triple triad. Is this card square? 
This no, that's a new quest. I think, yeah. Where is the southwest? South and west is this way. Card square. I hope it's labeled. Hey, look at that! A big old thing to attune to. Put on some clothes. Um. This place is kind of huge. Space Pickle! Hello! Oh, guys. Oh, everyone. It's time. It's time. We have raised the points for the garage sale giveaway. It took... Tre Treo says, hey, no judging their clotheslessness. I mean, Zeb, I haven't even asked yet. So, the stuff is, as usual, a game from the list. The thing is this PC panel volume knob doohickey that uses USB-C. Each of the volume knobs is a separately configurable button and an analog volume knob that you can assign through the, through the driver and the application to specific applications. So you can adjust the applications of, or the volume of Discord, of your browser, of all kinds of different shit. So uh, let me find my dice. <laughs> Oh, there's the knees. There's the knees. Okay. Did I, did I leave it? Did I leave my dice in here? No, I took them out of there. I think. Yeah, I took my dice out of there. There they are. Found them. Found the dice. You know, I'm actively interested by how I did not choose one this time. Yeah, apparently this one has got a lot of interest. Space Pickle. Uh, Zeb and Harley are... are are on the uh, are very interested in this. This here we go. Here's a nope. That's a D12. Here we, nope. That's another D12. What in the? F Thank you, Izzy. Is that everybody that wants to get in on the garage sale giveaway? Oh my God! This just use my eyeballs. There we go. Black D20. She's, she is actually helping this time. Helping, helping indeed. All right. Secretary Izzy recording the meeting minutes. All right. I'm going to give uh, chat another few seconds to uh, to get in on it. Get in on it. <sighs> Looks like nobody else wants to get on. So. Space Pickle's got two, Harley's got five, Izzy's got seven, Zeb's got 13, and Rolly's got 20. The closest wins. I have rolled a 17. Rolly wins. It's rigged. Rolly rigged. Yes, rigged. Absolutely. But I rolled a 17. So Rolly wins. Rolly I will contact you after stream. To see if you would like the game or the PC panel. Or do any of the Izzy nonsense like handing off the gift to someone else. I will, uh, I will, yes, I will contact you about your car's extended warranty. <laughs> I have been trying to reach you about that for quite some time now. All right, uh, any shady backdoor dealings, Zeb, and Space Pickle that you want to do with Roliad, feel free now is the time. Uh, as it is a rigged, uh, apparently a rigged giveaway, you might as well include the, the shady backdoor dealings. <laughs> all right. Um, all right, so we attuned to this, but we're trying to get to the card square. Sir, I get the slight impression that you're evil. I don't know what's giving me that idea, but something about you is definitely triggering some evil vibes. All right, here I go. Slice is right, no underway in the event square. This is the event square. This is not the card square map. 
Oh my god, look at this frickin' map. Here's the event square, wonder square, round, round square, entrance square, main counter. Where's the card square? Jackpot board. None of these are labeled card square. The Manderville Lounge, Airship Landing. Oh, no, no, no. There's the card square right there. And I am here. So I need to turn slightly to my left. I need to go back through the crystal. In fact, directly back through the crystal. And just keep going. Okay. Zoom! Go past the main desk. Go this way. Triple Triad Trader. I don't want to play Triple Triad. Triple Triad Master. Invisible Wall. Where's my... No, I have to talk to the Triple Triad people. It's a nice shirt. That's a nice shirt. So I guess we talk to... I guess we'll talk to the Triple Triad Master. Triple Triad is taking your... Right, it says, I want a shirt like that. Nice. Uh, so Triple Triad's from Final Fantasy VI, isn't it? You've had dates like that. Oh, no. Right, it says, I'm proud. You used your map. Thank you. Thank you. It is it is an accomplishment. Uh, I You want a, you want a map or a shirt like that? I want... Some, friends like this <laughs> anywho uh triple triads from i think final fantasy 6 or 10 one of the earlier final fantasy games triple triads taking eorzea by storm care to try your hand at the in, this entrancing new card game no are you sure it's easy to begin and challenging to master well another time perhaps yeah i'm sure the trader okay we'll talk to the trader working on it lol well, aren't you a handsome... Wait, wait, what? <laughs> well, aren't you a handsome one? Welcome to Card Square, home of the Triple Triad Tables. <gasps> She's... It's the cat race, but with the ears on a headband. Wow. Okay. That's a choice. Also, the fishnets. Oof. Uh, what's Triple Triad, you ask? Why, only the mind-bending, pulse-pounding, maddening maddeningly Moorish card game that's taken the realm by storm. But don't take my word for it. Behold! Can you not feel the tension in the air? Izzy says, meow? Yes, meow, yes. For, form a hand of five cards and play the role of a field general sending your bravest into battle. Should you wish to learn the rules and experience the excitement for yourself, you need only ask. Start today, and we'll even throw in some complimentary cards to help you on your way. You can face off against a single opponent at any time, or if you crave an even greater test of your skills, take part in one of our regular tourneys. Believe me when I tell you, there's no feeling quite like standing triumphant on the battlefield after vanquishing all comers. You really should try it. Ilpala, hello! He says, I see we have reached the true end game, maybe one of many. Triple Triad is not an end game. It's a distraction from a story. <laughs> a minute to learn, a lifetime to master. Th though, she is making an argument for me to listen. <laughs> well, it says, at the rate that he plays Final Fantasy XIV, he may never leave here. Th that's, that's, yup. That's true. As he says, nothing better than bathing in the blood of your enemies on the battlefield. Wet. Whoa. Whoa. Space Beagle says, triad, endgame hot. As he says, oh, not that kind of battlefield. No. Uh. What? What is happening in chat right now? What is happening in chat right now? Apollo, what have you done? Uh. 
Ah, but I'm getting carried away. You have a tour to finish. Wonder Square is your next destination. Not that there's any hurry, of course. If you'd like to play a hand or two before you go, you need but say the word. I don't I don't think I want to. No. I mean Yeah, Roland, I would like to battle her as well, but not Oh my god. But not in Triple Triad. Now we need to go to Wonder Square. Speak with the gatekeeper at Wonder Square map. This map is so offensive. Every every amusement park I've ever been to is now called to mind and ruined. Uh, Wonder Wonder Square. Round Square, Event Square, Wonder Square, right there. Okay. Oh, there's Etherite. There's little Etherite shirts. Okay, I need to do some attuning as well. Treya says, y'all gonna make Skippy lose his mind up in here, up in here. Yeah, indeed. Indeed. Cranky! Don't know why. Cranky, thank you for that sub. I appreciate it. This, this is the entrance. This is not where I want to be going. Welcome, Cranky. I am... Is that Kirby? Or is that like a Neko? Is that like a cat? Knowing the silliness that happens with the Mandervilles later on, this but look, this is unfair. Unfair, I tells you. Holy, she's wearing even less. And cute glasses. That's not no. <gasps> All right, where was I going? They had to make a sharp right. <laughs> Past the Manderville Lounge. Skippy will never make it out of here. Listen. <laughs> Skippy has needs. Um, <laughs> where is the... I can't go in the lounge. Is that where the shard is? Is it inside? Yeah. Wait. Did I just miss it? It's up there. It's on the second floor. But I need, the gate key, This is the person I need to talk to. You thought it was the Mio. He's even... Bl I'm not blushing. I'm not blushing. You're blushing. Gatekeeper says, you look lost, honey. Oh, no. Oh, no. Why don't I show you around? I've been dying for some company. Wink, wink. Oh, no. Oh, dead. This game knows exactly what it's doing. And apparently, I am the target audience. Thank you. Thank you, Space Pickle. I will never thank you for squats. And, er, I'm sorry. Thank you, Izzy, for the squats and Space Pickle for the sub. And then Space Pickle for more squats. <laughs> She's the gatekeeper. Am I the key master? We'll find out, I guess. <laughs> All right, so I need to do 10 squats. And thank you very much for that sub, Space Pickle. I appreciate it. Follow. Follow? Yeah, you're following. Yes. I was like, no, that wasn't a follow. That was a sub. What are you talking about? Ten squats with my busted ass knees. You you missed that whole conversation. What is that? You missed that whole conversation, Space Pickle. I, uh, over the past two days, have destroyed my body. So here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. Ten squats. A couple of them I think were half ass, but that was the best I could do. Oh. Whew, thank you very much. Oh, you guys got your ten squats. <sighs> <sighs> All right. This 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 lady is very interested in. Well, it says my face is ten squats. <laughs> I 
listen. I'm putting up quite a bit of effort to make the, the fewest number of lewd comments as I possibly can about the NPCs in this game. And the PCs in this game. And I'm failing already, guys. I'm, I'm failing every time I stream this game. Don't help. <laughs> Don't like, Come on! <laughs> Alright. Wink, wink. Feast your eyes on Wonder Square. From gripping games and awe-inspiring attractions to the finest in fine dining and the freshest of refreshments. There's no end to the wonders housed within these halls. And let's not forget the most wondrous of them all, El Coloso, as we lovingly call our mammoth cactar mascot, is the star of some of our most popular events. Suffice it to say, you won't want to miss them. The bows on her shoes. Yeah, I, I had... I hadn't even seen her shoes. Like, that did not register at all with me. <laughs> now, I know what you're thinking. With everything going on at the Gold Saucer, how can I ever hope to keep up? But you needn't worry, my fellow gatekeepers, and I will always be on hand to see that you don't miss a thing. For the continuation of your tour, I've been instructed to direct you to into the waiting arms of my colleague, Veleda, at the Cactpot board. She's one of our most popular girls. And once you meet her, I'm sure you'll understand why. Well, ta-ta for now. I, 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 I wouldn't understand why, huh? I, what? What do you, listen, I had to, I have to find the, uh, the ether, uh, ethernet bit. I got a, a tune. I hope you're saying ta-ta for now and not ta-tas for me. Bye, Space Pickle. Wait, were you here? Hold on. No. Man, I don't know who these people are in real life. Tatas for the win. I mean, I'm not disagreeing with you at all. Rolly, not even a little bit. Here we go. Let's let's attune here. Cause I think it's just got two. We have one here and one over here. Okay. There's Moogles. There's real Moogles, and there's fake Moogles, apparently. Well, hello. Adrian Nyanyabiz. Love it. Okay. Now we need to go find the most popular lady in the casino. Who was at the, was at the what now? Round square, event square, no. I know I passed whatever it was, the Manderville tables. Wonder square, El Coloso. Uh, well, we'll figure it out. Let's do a little bit of wandering around in here. Masked Rose? Is that like Tuxedo Mask? Um. Card Tower Striker. Crystal Tower Striker. Okay. I guess we go back out this way. And I don't think we've been over here yet. Senor Sabotender. 
Oh, this is the round square. I need to get to the cactopot board. Oh, I'm in the... Shouldn't be walking in the water. I guess. What exactly are we looking for again, Father? Why is everyone staring up there? What in the seven hells was that thing? A cucumber, I think. Oh no, they're talking about the cactuars. Did you see him try and touch me, bum? Oh no! Oh no! I am not the only dirty old man in here, it seems. The cactuars apparently also the gatekeeper. We're trying to looking for the cactopot board. Oh. Oh, we made it to the event square. Where there are also there's one there's two Ethernet shards. Okay. Moogle's paw. Is this, is this like a claw game? This looks like a claw game. Claw games are the worst. Lord says, well, I'm going to go to bed. I have a, had a hell of a day at work today. All right, sleep well, Rolian. Get some real good rest, my friend. Where's the other... There's no second floor. Did I go right past it? No. Yeah, I did. I went right past Oh, it must be. There is a second floor. Okay. It must be up on the second floor, which is where we're headed. Why is this little child just sitting here on the steps? The little Lollafell child. It was short even for a Lollafell. Where is... There it is. All right, that's the cact cactopod board. What is this? Where I needed to go? Speak with Valetta at the cactopod board. I did. This is it. Hello, Valetta. Greetings, handsome. I've been waiting for you. I'm Valetta, and I'd like to personally welcome you to Event Square, the most spacious of all the areas in the Gold Saucer. The Event Square is a veritable cornucopia of pleasure and delight. Doubtless the sizable stage in the middle of the square has caught your eye. That is the scene of some of our most sensational attractions, so don't be shy about taking center stage. And after the curtain has fallen, why not try changing your life forever? That's a hell of a claim. At the Jumbo Cactopot, Cactpot, all you need is a handful of MGP and a head full of dreams. Cho just choose four numbers and cast your hopes to the heavens. You never know... Just when Nymea will smile down upon you. Now, as much as I've enjoyed getting to know you, and I'm afraid it's time for us to part, the next and final leg of your tour takes you to the Round Square. Don't think too hard about the name, darling. Even I'm not sure it's supposed to make sense. Listen, I don't, she hasn't been any better than anybody else. I don't know why... Why... That was a big deal. So we gotta go back down and go to the round square. Well, that's not terrifying at all. Jumbo. Wait. Are these elevators that are just blocked off for service? No, that's just a railing. Okay. Air Force One is now underway in Round Square. All guests are encouraged to participate. 
Current main scenario quest, Call of the Forest. Yeah, that's that's next. This is terrifying. This whole place is freaking terrifying. All right, I need to go to the round square, which is that way. All right, so I need to turn around and I can go through the back hallway. Did I come from the round square? I think I did. All right, good night, Treos. Have good mosh pitting. Yes, this is this is where we were earlier. I need to talk to speak with the gatekeeper at round square. That's this person, this little Lala fell. Are you the first time visitor I was told to expect? A thousand welcomes to the gold saucer and a thousand welcomes to round square. How can a square be round, you ask? I'm not sure I understand the question. Moving on to more important matters, is that lofty peak not a sight to behold? That is Mount Corral, the main attraction here at Round Square. One of our most thrilling events pits our customers against each other in the challenge to see who can most swiftly scale its heights. And I tell you, the view from the summit is a sight to behold. And that concludes your tour of the Gold Saucer. While I'm sure you're eager to start enjoying yourself, pray do not forget to return to the main counter and claim your complimentary gift. I will do that right now, in fact. Main, main counter. Okay. So I need to take a left and just follow the wall. Okay. Here we go. Main counter. Welcome back, honored guest. I trust that you've come away from the tour with a greater appreciation of all the gold seltzer has to offer. As a token of our appreciation for your patronage, it is my great pleasure to offer you a complimentary gift from the personal vault of our esteemed proprietor. Well, knock me down... Roland. Well, knock me down with a chocobo's tail feather. Is that a new customer I see? Ha ha! I could hardly have picked a better time to drop in for an impromptu inspection. Master Roland, yes, this this gentleman here is, has but this moment completed his introductory tour. Dude, what? <laughs> Roland, is that so? Well, then allow me to personally welcome you to the Gold Saucer. I am Roland, good sir, the fellow entrusted with overseeing the daily affairs of this fine establishment on behalf of our esteemed proprietor, a great man if ever there was one. You are an adventurer, yes? Ah, your dress and bearing told me as much. I dare say then that on your travels you have seen firsthand the difficulties which yet plague our nation. Witness the struggles of all amigos, displaced masses, and those whose homes were consumed in the fires of the calamity. The Sultanate is not unsympathetic to their plight, of course, yet how can one begin to provide succor to such countless multitudes? One man had an answer. Go Godbert Mandeville had a dream. A dream of a house of untold wonders that would provide stable employment and lodgings to the displaced, mirth and merriment to the discon discon disconsolate, and pr prosperity and plenty to the Sultanate at large. To many of our patrons, the Gold Saucer is merely Eorzea's foremost entertainment venue, a place to forget about their cares for the day. To me, it is one of the founding stones upon which our realm will be rebuilt, a miracle wrought by the hand of the greatest man I have ever known. Oh, the capitalism! Uh, something tells me you understand that which I have told you, that you, perchance, share a similar dream, but I shall keep you no longer. The gold saucer and all its wonders await you, friend. Pray enjoy them to your heart's content. Till we meet again, may the spinner's pull ever be kind. Complete. What, what did I get? Gold Saucer Ticket. Redeem for one free play at any of the Manderville Gold Saucer mini-attractions. Jumbo Cactpot, 
Mini Cact Pot, Chocobo Racing, and Triple Triad not included. Wow, all the stuff I might want to actually do is not included. That's... That tracks. Let's... That tracks. Let's play a game or two before we, like, set fire to our brains after coming into this... This place. Oh, there are quests here? Passion for fashion. Wynn is frustrated with a new challenge and needs to unburden herself. I dress precisely as I was told. To receive such a dreadful score, not to mention the humiliating criticism. Humph. Hmm, you wish to know what's bothering me? That is well, for I wish to unburden myself. I've been having a frustrating time with the fashion report. The challenge they recently introduced. Yes, I, who can play any game here blindfolded and spun around, struggle with it. To be fair to myself, though, it has a subjective element. If you have a mind for fashion, perhaps you would like to try your hand at the challenge. Go to Wonder Square and seek out the masked rose. But be warned, the barbs on that man's tongue have barbs on their tongues. Oh no. Here we go! It's time for casino quests. I remember seeing masked rose, and I remember calling him Tuxedo Mask. So, let's see if, am I going in the right direction? Yes, yes I am. What, is it? No, it's over here. Hey, Berber. <sighs> See, now that's a really good outfit. That is a really cool outfit. Like, that is, that is top, t that is nice. Alright, Mr. Masked Rose, let's talk. Let's get my fashion choices torn apart. Oh ho, a new challenger has come to put his stylistic sensibilities to the test. Welcome to the fashion report, good sir. What? Is everything quite alright? Yes, everything is rosy. Redolently so. Is that you, Redolent Rose? I don't know who Redolent Rose is. I, I fear you are mistaken. Well, I am flattered that you should confuse me with the greatest weaver the realm has ever seen. I am Masked Rose, and no other kind. And if that was an attempt to flatter your way to my good graces, nice try, sir, but not even the Sultana herself can expect special treatment here. Redolent Rose is a weaver's guild leader. Okay, I must have met him earlier then. Thanks, Opala. Now then, I believe this is your first time participating in the fashion report. Allow me to explain the concept and the rules. Fashion is a form of self-expression. What we wear without is a reflection of who we are within. Be it a conscious effort or no, this choice brings our individuality to the fore. Some folk are drawn to vibrant colors, others may favor a loose fit for comfort, and while tis well and good to dress to one's preferences, a man cannot prefer that which he does not know. The world of fashion is vast and at times daunting, but if we have the courage to take a step into the unknown, we may discover wonderful new ways of self-expression we had never considered. And tis for no other reason than to encourage folk to take that first step that I created this challenge, the fashion report. The rules are simple. I shall assign you a theme based upon which you are to attire yourself to the best of your sensibilities. I shall then judge you and award you a score. I don't have any other clothes! Participating is free and there is a host of fabulous prizes to be won, courtesy of Manderville and Manderville. If you wish to know the finer points of the game, my lovely assistant, Kasumi, shall attend you. Another, another, uh, dragon person. Space Pickle says, what do you mean you have no other clothes? I mean, I've got robes and stuff. Bad ones? I probably do. I look forward to giving you my unadulterated, brutally honest evaluation of your fashion sense. Steal yourself and let me know when you are ready to undertake the challenge. All right, well, I guess we need to get a theme.
<laughs> the fashion report is now available. Speak with the Mastros and the Gold Saucer to undertake a fashion challenge. Isn't that what I just did? The fashion report. The realm's problem... What? The realm's problems can wait until tomorrow. For today, we dress like heroes and heroines in Mastro's fashion report, fashion challenges. New challenges are posted in the Gold Saucer every week, Earth Time, on Tuesday at 4 a.m., and we are live for three days until Friday at 4 a.m. Each challenge begins with themes given for 11 different equipment slots. Okay, yeah, no, this is not something I have enough. That's cool and everything, but not something I want to do right now. Okay. Love Milky Meow Meow. Bye bye, Love Milky Meow Meow. Crystal Tower Striker. Can I use my friggin'. I currently use one of five gold saucer tickets. What do I do? Oh, I see. Okay. Oh boy, I got 15 MGP. That was better. But still got 15 MGP, okay. Oh no! <laughs> okay, okay. Oh. Last gold saucer ticket. Better but not into the white yet. Okay, that's cool. Uh, there were more quests around though. There were more quests. There's a quest over here. Triple triad trial. Oh, there's gotta be better quests. Hitting the cact pot. Let's go play hitting, the, let's go, let's go check that one out. So I need to go back around behind me. Oops. Right, is that right? I'm going the... Yes, okay. <laughs> so many weird things going on in this place. Honestly, guys, this is not what I expected for today, but uh, holy crap. Oh God, why? What is happening? Are they upstairs? Wait, where'd the quest go? Oh, no, I passed it already. It's gotta be upstairs. Yeah, it's upstairs. Jumbo cat. Okay. Welcome to the jungo Jumbo Cact Pot, where the Eorzy of your dreams is only four digits away. Can I tempt you with a ticket, sir? Sure. Excellent. Let me enlighten you to as, ho as to how it all works. First, you purchase a Jumbo Cact Pot ticket for me. Then you, you then pick your four lucky numbers, any from zero to nine that tickle your fancy, and inscribe them upon your ticket. After that, simply wait. Space Beagle says, welcome to the jungle. We've got fun in games. After that, simply wait till we announce the winning number to see if you have any matches. Check your digits from last to first. The more matches you have, the more Manderville Gold Saucer points you'll win. I want... If all your numbers match, then ding, 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 you've hit the cact pot. You'll receive embar an embarrassingly large number of MGP and an extravagant prize besides. 
And with the ju with the jumbo cact pot, the more participants there are, the grander their prizes become. Just imagine how many MGP you'll stand to win if all your friends and allies join in the fun. When the time comes to draw the winning number, look no further than the lovely cact pot cashier. She will provide you with everything from first prize to consolation points. Okay. Last but not least, I will be here to assist you day or night if you are ever at a loss. Okay. Following Saturday at 10 to claim your prize. Okay. Once this once we... Okay, complete. What was that? What was that? What is this? MGP voucher. Okay. Purchase a ticket. Four digit number. Um... None of my pins, you guys. I'm not putting in any pins here. Uh, but honestly, let's just go two, five, two, five, eight, zero. Purchase. Purchase a jumbo kit with the number two, five, eight, zero for a hundred. Yes. No. Okay. Winning number. Saturday, every Saturday at 10 p.m. Earth time. Well, we're not going to stick around for that. Okay. Um, but also, can I redeem... Where do I go to redeem... Participant bonus, jumbo, fat pass results, view the payout. First prize. 1 million... 1.5 million is the full match. That's a lot. Nothing. Okay, so I need to go. Can I? Has yet to be announced. Yeah, I understand that, but that's not what I'm. Go okay, I need to go back downstairs then. And I need to go talk to the triple triad person, I guess, is the only other. No, there's a bunch. Scratch it, Rich. Everything she does, little thing she does is mahjong. So you want to be a jockey? Oh my lord. <laughs> Why does he have to tell us he isn't using his pin? Unless. Why did I have to do that, Space Pickle? Why did? Why did I have to do that? Wait, this was it. This plush carpet sound. Man. All right, uh, so I'm going, which one is this? Entrance square, which is, okay, so I'm gonna keep going and then I'll just go through the crystal, okay. Through the crystal area, which is not here, it is here, okay. Are there a uh, Ethernet Chris? Did I get this one? Entrance and card squares. Is that up above? No, it's directly across from me. <clears throat> I don't think I tuned to this one yet. Oh, I did. Okay. Let's talk to the lift operator and see what's up with the lifts. Beyond this door lie Chocobo Square and Minion Square, homes to the heart-pounding, hair-raising spectacles that are Chocobo Racing and Lord of Verminion are in. Oh, sure. Okay, but that was... They had a quest for me? I guess? No. But there's a quest! That's a quest marker, right? That's... I'm not being redonkulous. That's a quest. Okay, there's no... Oh, here we go. There is one right here. Well. Right. 
race chocobo registrar. For those with a need for speed and yearning for competition, the Manderville Gold Saucer provides a perfect solution. Are you content to merely amble through life, shuffling forward step by step at a snail's pace? Imagine the wind in your hair as you cross the finish line atop a chocobo, the thrill of competition and the joy of triumph. Would that not be far, far greater? Ah, but that you are here bespeaks desire, the de, uh, bespeaks desire already present, does it not? Aye, I think this morn a new jockey is born. Also, a jo alas, a jockey cannot compete without a suitable steed, a race chocobo to be precise. Mayhap you think to nominate your own personal chocobo? If so, strike the thought from your mind at once, for only a chocobo trained for the task will suffice. But fear not, my friend, for it so happens we have a surplus of fledglings in need of new companions. In fact, to any who wish to don the mantle of chocobo jockey, the Manderville Gold Saucer, Saucer will gen generously gift a race chocobo. You need only journey to Moogle's Gift Mounts in Bent Branch, Me Bent Branch Meadows where fledgling race chocobos receive their initial training. Make your intentions known to the trainer named Kettering and she will see you match for the suitable steed. I think we talked to Kettering and helped them out before? All right, so that's not here. What's in here? This looks like a chocobo hall. Nope, not going in there. All right. We got that quest, which is great, I guess. Oh, there's another... Minion Square has a thing. So let's go to Minion Square. That's the lift operator. Because apparently quests include taking you up and down the finer miner. Uh-oh. Out on a limb. Lord of Verminion. What is this? There's the Ethernet shard. There's Adrian Nunya Biz again. Cool. You've attuned yourself to all the Ethernet shards in the Manderville Gold Saucer. Nice! I like that it tells me that. But also, wasn't there a quest here? I guess not. I don't I don't want to deal with minions right now. I thought there was a quest here and I feel betrayed. Betrayed, I tell you. Betrayed. All right, let's go this way, and then the el the elevator lady. Should you be looking to return to Entrance Square, this prep passage will lead you there. Yes, please. <sighs> All right. Oh, here we go. Judging by the way, somewhat perturbed. Every little thing she does is Mahjong. How dare they claim it, it wasn't a proper Yaku? Don't they know a winning hand when they see one? Yes, what do you want? <sighs> I'm afraid you found me in a rather foul mood. I've had a run of poor luck with that new game, Mahjong. I hear it's all the rage in Doma, although it seems the Gold Saucer's clientele struggle to wrap their feeble minds around its intricacies. With the endless supply of shameless cheats and bubbling novices, I've yet to find a decent opponent. Opponent, Perhaps you would provide me with more of a challenge. Yes, some fresh meat could be just what I need. Run along to the Manderville tables and get yourself acquainted with the basics, won't you? No. Oh, okay. Speak with the Mahjong Tutor. Which is here. Uh, so this is in the Wonder Square. And I am in Entrance Square. Which is here? Yeah, okay. 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 If 
I'm right, I just go to the right. Yep, this way. Go this way. And it's probably going to be upstairs. Or not. Maybe it's down here. No, it's definitely upstairs. I cannot believe that this thing exists. This place exists in this level of complexity. This is kind of a, just absurd and amazing. Mahjong Tutor. <sighs> Listen, I'll have the money ready by next week, I swear. What? Oh, you're not a debt collector? What a pleasant surprise. In that case, you must be here to learn how to play Dom uh, Domen Mahjong. I am the resident tutor at your service. Are you by any chance familiar with the game? I know my pawn from my Ron, if that's what you mean. That's not the one where the loser drinks Morble Bile, is it? Kami for Fend. Oh, Mouse, why? Uh, is that what passes for entertainment in Eorzea? Perhaps all those rumors about pirates and their drunken antics are true. Anyway, Mahjong is far great, a far gentler affair. Four players sit around a table, collecting tiles and scoring points. Thankfully, you'll find there is no shortage of opponents against whom to pit your wits. If you prefer, you can even practice against automata. They gloat less than the flesh and than their threat flesh and blood counterparts, too. Should you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask me, and may I say, I will be very interested to see how quickly you rise to the ranks here at the Gold Saucer. Complete. I don't have to actually play, do I? I don't want to play Mahjong. Uh, uh, Mahjong is unlocked. Okay. It's a duty? It's considered... Mahjong is considered a duty. Wow. Okay. What about there was yeah, there was another that's a triple triple triad trial. But there's also Scratch It Rich over here at the main counter in the entrance square. So let's go do the Scratch It Rich. Can I jump over the ledge? Yes. Yes I can. Wait, where am I going? Okay. Back the way I came. Back the way I came. Summoning bell. Oh, I'm going to sneeze, you guys. Oh. Oh. Welcome, welcome, fair, fair traveler. Care to test your luck with a mini cact pot ticket? Sure. Splendid, sir. Now allow me to explain. Mini cact pot is a game of chance available to you thrice every day. Paying, play, playing is simplicity itself. Just guess the value of the covered numbers to win it big. If Nymela's grace is with you, you'll be rewarded with Manderville gold saucer points galore. So, sir, do you feel lucky? Okay. Each slot is randomly assigned a number from 1 to 9. When you purchase a ticket, a single number will be revealed. To play, uncover any three other numbers. Based on that information, guess the sum of each line. Oh my god. Finally, select a single line. The payout of... Jesus. Okay. Complete. Purchase a mini cactpot ticket. Proceed, yes. Okay, oh, it's a scratch-off. Okay, um, first you select three numbers from the eight hidden on your ticket. Next, you select one of eight lines. Vertical, okay, so let's do this one, this one, and this one. Once you select a line, all numbers are uncovered with the sum of the three in the line you choose. Okay. 
Oh, so I know this one is diagonal. I can choose the diagonal. And so that's 13, and so that's uh, 17. 17 gets me 180 MGP. I see, but if I risk higher, like a six will get me, okay, okay. Let's try this one. Confirm. 72, that's more than I was gonna get, I think. No, it's less, okay. So, there was, yeah, 17 would have gotten me 180. Okay, cool, close. Thank you for your patronage. Would you like to play again? No, thank you. How many of this nonsense do I have in here? I got an MGP voucher, Dodo fe Oh, for 100 Mandeville Gold Saucer points. Unsellable, market prohibited. Great. Okay, are there any more quests in this? D yeah, of course there are. Right here. Triple triad. Okay. I guess I'm going to go to the triple triad trial thinger. I don't want to play triple triad. Wow. Wow. Look at this. This is great. Triple Triad is taking Urzia by storm. Care to try your hand? I guess I have to. And so another challenger is born. Welcome to the world of Triple Triad, where you put your pit your cards against an, an opponent's in a tense battle of skill, strategy, and the odd dose of luck. Here at the Manderville Gold Sauce, wow, Gold Saucer, I am pleased to present all new players with the cards they need to get started. To play a match, however, first you'll need to build a deck composed of five cards from your registered card list. When I suggest speaking with the nearby Triple Triad Trader, should you wish to expand your card collection. And she bows, and she's cute. You're not able to challenge opponents to Triple Triad matches. New cards can be a tip, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Play against the master to learn basic rules. Use the... Oh, God. I don't care about any of this. Complete. Challenging the masters. If I want to learn triple triad, I will come back and learn triple triad. I don't want to learn triple triad right now. But you have that in... Okay, it's not a real quest. Okay. I need to get my butt up to the... Up to the... Is that the... Is it, yeah, this was the entrance. Will this take me to the airship? It will. Ish. Oh no, it won't. This is just for arrivals. Shit. Well, I've gotten all of them. So where is the airship? This is the airship landing. Well, how the hell do I get on another airship? Oh, I know. There was a... No, airship landing. Listen, I just want to... Ah, airship ticketer. Uh, seek passage to Ulda, purchase passage to Gridania, purchase passage to Limsa No, we want to go back to Ulda, yes. Unflipping believable. I don't get the cutscene? Whatever, screwed out of the cutscene. Alright, we need to go to Bent Branch Meadows map which is here I've not been there so that's not happening this is entirely new the shroud is new to me so it looks like we're gonna go to this is also in the shroud oh it's just new gridania it's all in new gridania so I guess, yes, let's teleport to New Gridania. <sighs> Close. Oh, it's raining. Well, hi, rain. I was just in the desert. All right. Remember where we parked? Hey, more quests. 
Oh, this is the chocobo keep. Nothing. With Kettering at Bench Ben Branch Meadows. Okay. Let's go to yeah, let's do that first. So I want to go to Ben Branch Meadows map. Where am I? It's right there. But where am I? Oh, I'm not a t I've never been to Bent Branch Meadows. I'm up here. So I need to go south. Okay. Let's go south. This is north. Let's go south. Here we go. Just a running down the street singing, do a diddy, diddy dum diddy do. The central shroud. Okay, so there's guys out here, but I'm. Gr level one ground squirrel. My goodness. Man, there's a bunch of stuff this way. Okay. Just straight ahead. I will probably need to go not straight ahead, but you know what? Let's see what we can do with straight ahead. Hey, look, there's some stuff. Oh, God, it hurts. Let's just wander into here. I don't know what this is about, but I'm here. Soldier at the Bannock wants you to track down some initiates that failed to appear for training. Ah, uh, perfect timing. I was just looking for a likely lad to track down some twin adder initiates. Three of our newest recruits have failed to report for training, exhausted from a month of solid drills, I expect. Considering their current physical state, I rather doubt they've wandered far. Hmm? Oh, gods, please don't mention wild beasts or blood. They're fine, I'm certain of it. Seek out my wayward troops and tell them to report back to me on the double. All right, what about you? Give me more quests. Marlin, a serpent of the Bannock, at the Bannock, is seeking a volunteer to gather materials used in the training of recruits. Ho oh, there, adventurer. If it's work you seek, then look no further. Instructor Mari... Mar... Maru... Marustel needs a volunteer to bring him some bog yarzen shells for the recruits to practice on. You'll find Yarzins in the river south of here. Once you pride the carapaces from four of the creatures, take them to the instructor. Okie dokie. What's this over here? Slumbering. Oh, here. Hi. Sir? Just a few more moments, mother. Huh? Sergeant Kamazam. Oh, F droppings. I must be late for training. Like, so they're literally right around here. Okay. like right here did I immediately get distracted by shiny on my way to something else across the river why yes yes I did hey they're bog yarzins how about can I just what is it sleep what's sleep what was sleep I had sleep sleep just cuz I wanna level 7 Get burned. Get burned. Get burned. Oh, I've got two balls now. I've got two fireballs. Cool. To crush your enemies, too. Interesting. Okay. Um. So, more bog yarzins. Hey, there's more bo Oh god, I may have n now I may not be able to get back up you guys. So let's just let's just attack some Yarzins. What could go wrong with the Yarzin attacking is what I always say. Uh, what am I out of Oh, okay. 
This is me being silly again. And getting hit for my trouble. Just like real life? Wait, what? Take that, Bog Yarzen. Where's the other one? Some Yarzens are jerks. Get back here, Yarzen. Yarzen. Suck on some fire. How dare you? Water Sprite! Take that, Water Sprite! How about some electricity? I'll freeze your ass! Look, I did it. Your ass is frozen. And there's an initiate. Listen. Dude. Yeah, maybe get a sundial or something. You yarzen. He's in your tent, isn't he? Can I go around back of here? Valorin, hello. You seen any students slash trainees around that need to get smacked around? Oh, there it is. Meditating my butt. Leave me be good, sir. Or, what, sir? Uh, more matrons teats. I better get back before she makes her boot one with my backside. Matrons teats. So good. So good. Thank you, Skipford. All the initiates are now present and accounted for. It's always the same, you know. A handful of recruits invariably lose focus a short while after being assigned to the new unit. That first rush of tension and excitement wears off, and the strain from the constant drills begins to show. Reprimanding them isn't always the best solution, though. I've, I've their morale to think about, after all. Still, I might give them a quick blast for good measure. What can I say? This is one battle. I'm not afraid to fight. Uh, thank you for the money. I appreciate the money, and I'm taking the money. Here, take your shells. Have you come to train? <laughs> no. Hmm? Not a new recruit? Then what? Ah, the Yarzen shells. I ordered Marlin to requisition. I see he's learned to delegate authority, if nothing else. Now that I have these carapaces, I could set my recruits some specialized drills. They're already adept at hitting a target, of course, but they need practical knowledge of exactly where a monster like the Yarzen is most vulnerable. Thanks to your efforts, I've no doubt they will fare better th uh, against the creatures when called upon. You should be proud of yourself. Both they and the Bannock are safer for your help. Oh, what's my options here? Brazed Pipira. Tree toad legs. A generous portion of battered and fried tree toad legs served with a side of snails. Or an elegant tin piece. I'm going to go with the braised Pipira. Complete. Give me that food! Isn't it a grocery store? What's a grocery store? I'm late to this question. I know I'm late to this question, but what's the grocery store? Matron's Teats. Nope, I don't think it is. I don't think that it is. But I do think I need to go this way. Don't. Don't you try it, Yarzen. I kicked all your siblings' asses and they're dead now. I just gotta get back up. Just let me up onto the... Okay, here we go. Made it! Made it! What is this nonsense? Oh, good. Thank you for recognizing my greatness and letting me in. Let's 
That's a tune. What in the shit? It's a hippie monster. If I've ever seen one. Sweet. Megaria. No, this is somebody else entirely. Where the heart is. The lavender beds. Megaria has information that may interest wealthy adventurers. Correct me if I'm wrong, but are you not an adventurer? I've seen you running to and fro, face set in grim determination, as adventurers are wont to do. Hence my presumption. If so, I have information with might interest, which might interest you. The rumor has it that plots within the lavender beds are to be auctioned off. What's more, bidders need not even be Gridanian. Any old adventurer or wandering minstrel could, with sufficient funds, purchase land and build their own home. Considering how discerning the elementals tend to be about who can and cannot reside within the Twelves Wood, it's rather surprising, if not hard to believe. But if there is truth to these rumors, well, who hasn't dreamed of owning their own forest cottage, perhaps a small vegetable garden, and a stable large enough for a chocobo or two? Uh, Space Pickle says that's just a residency quest, one for each area. Got it. You know, should your travels take you to the mirror planks, where the ferry to the lavender beds is, perhaps you'll find a twin adder representative who can tell you more. I would be shocked if they weren't involved in such a monumental change in policy. All right, cool. I'll take on more friggin' quests. Give the quest to me. Gib. That's leave quests. That's a different picture, though. If it's a guild leave you seek, then I may just have the right one for you. Nothing. No, thank you. Don't want leave quests. However... This may be the chocobo keep that I've been looking for. Or not. No, it's not. Okay, I am here. They are right there. Okay. So, like, this way? Yeah. And up this road. There they are. Chattering. Another one for the races, eh? Welcome, welcome. Once you've made your decision, I'll prepare the registration form you'll need to take ba back to the race counter. Lest you worry, our chocobos are all quality stock. They may not seem like much at first, being young and inexperienced, but give them a chance, and they'll win you a championship. Additional fledgling chocobo registration forms can be purchased from the feather trader at any time. G1 at what is this? What is what is this? Untradeable. I pick one. Is this male or female? Is that no? It's not. Male. Oh, it is male or female. Okay, I don't care. I guess we'll go male. Complete. Fledgling and race chocobos. You now possess a fledgling chocobo registration form. This document grants you sole ownership of a newly hatched chocobo bred specifically to race, especially to race. Until its maiden race, your fledgling will be trained and cared for by the chocobo keeps at Moogle's Gift Mounts in Bent Branch Meadows. If you happen to lose your registration form, ownership is rescinded. So store the document in a safe location. After officially registering your fledgling as a race chocobo, it will be moved from Ben Branch Meadows to the stables at the Meadow Ma uh, Manderville Gold Saucer. All further training will be conducted there. Conducted here. Remember, adventurers may only own a single race chocobo. If you would like another, you must first retire the one you currently possess. That means send it to the glue factory. Poised to ask you a question. You're still here? I reckon you'd have run off by now, being eager to try your hand at the races and whatnot. Well, in case you forgot... Uh, yes, I understand. Okay. Quest accepted. Um, okay, but there's also this person over here that has a quest. An old Don Merchant by the name of Kukuvachi seeks an adventurer to make some inquiries on his behalf. You there, adventurer! Yes, you will suffice. I have a job I need performed, and I'm willing to pay the going rate. 
A trifling task, really. I simply need you to ask the locals here at Bent Branch Meadows what the head wrangler covets most of all, most in all the world. This is a private matter, lest you doubt, so be sure to inquire discreetly. And please, for the love of Nald, do not reveal that you are in my employ. In fact, it would be best if my name wasn't mentioned at all. Yeah, you're a sneaky one, Mr. Grinch. All right, let's go back to... Um, the other place. Wait, what? I can I not? I can get it here. Okay, is this the locals? Uh, why was? Uh, wait a minute. That Don Merchant put you up to this, didn't he? He's wasting his time with that approach. If the man is serious about owning a chocobo, he would be better served by convincing Katha of his intent to provide the bird with the proper care and attention. Okay. Cool. Uh, there's one this way. Which I don't think is this chocobo keep. No. It's this way. Where's the... Oh, there they, there they are. Bernard! What's this about Miss Katha? You looking for a stir up, to stir up trouble, son? If you think some shiny trinket will move her heart, then you don't know her like I... Or that is, Miss Katha is only interested in her birds. Listen here, adventurer. If your actions cause her any distress, the woodwallers will come down to you so hard your boots will leak blood. Got that? Wow, yeah. What the hell are you doing? The NPCs are fighting NPCs, and that's glorious. I guess. Okay, one more. One more local. This way. Maybe, or maybe that's... Nope, that's a different quest. That's a different quest. There it is. I see you around the corner there. Leo Dare. Can't say the only thing Kate wants for her birds to be happy. If she cares for anything besides the well being of the chocobos, then I've not heard of it. Hey, it turns out that they're actually honest and crazy straightforward and why Ul Don is not gonna understand that at all. Well, do you plan to keep me in suspense? I must have a chocobo for my very... What's this? They told you nothing of her material desires? Ugh! The stubbornness of these Gridanians is infuriating. And what I should what I should have known better than to hire a buffoon for such delicate work. To think the amount of gill I've wasted on this fruitless venture. Oh, cease your mewling. I promise you a reward and a reward you shall have. Now leave me to my misfortune. Or you could be less of a dick. Uh... Copper wristlets, leather wristbands. Let's go that way. Why not? I don't think I need to... Like, that's not... Yeah. Nothing Nothing changes. Alright. Now let's go back to... Speak with Emlyn. No, this one. Let's go to here. Yes. No, don't interrupt the teleport. Oh my god. Maybe I could just do it from here. Register favorite. No, cancel. All right, map. Where the hell? There. Yes. It's a big car! 
It's a transforming car. It's a big transforming car. All right, we're back here. Now we need to go to this way. Right, right here. But also, we need to pick up this quest. No, that's the chocobo thing. That is not a quest. That is a, hey, hire a chocobo. And I went the wrong way. Maybe, maybe not. No, I did not. Take a seat wherever you like, friend. Our waitress will come take your... Oh, not here to dine? Dare I hope that you're the adventurer, Baldron? Baderon said word about you are the matron be praised. Allow me to introduce myself. My, my name is Mirn, and the Carline Canopy is my place. With regard to the task in question, there is a fair bit to tell. Let me know when you're ready to hear the details, and I shall brief you. Oh, nice. That's that's potion. All right, let's let's get the task, and then and then we'll close it up. Probably, eh, we got a little bit longer. Mother Meun, ready for that briefing? Good. Now then, here's the long and short of it. Beg pardons for interrupting, Meun, but our need grows ever more pressing. Have none step forward, Lewin. And good evening to you too, Bolord. Your need must be pressing indeed for you to honor us with a visit. The good news is your journey hasn't been wasted. I'm pleased to report that we have a volunteer at last, and one who comes highly recommended at that. Frickin' Robin Hood, but in red. My thanks for answering the call, friend. My name is Lewin, and I lead the men and women of the God's Quiver. Now, time is of the essence, so I shall proceed directly to the heart of the matter. We wish for you to nip a potential threat to, Gr to Gridania in the bud. Beneath the central shroud, there lies an underground burial site called the... Uh, Tamtara Deepcroft. The place is once a Gelmoran settlement, but we Gridanians have long interred our dead there. Of late, however, shadowy figures have been seen skulking about the Deepcroft, and with ever-increasing regularity. Based on the accounts of various witnesses, we suspect that these individuals belong to the Lambs of Dalamud, a doomsday cult which sprung up prior to the Calamity. These zealots have proven themselves dangerous in the past, and we... We leave them to their own devices at our peril. Ordinarily, I would have dispatched my best men to scour the deep croft with orders to flush the cultists out. Alas, the calamity decimated our ranks, and the limited forces at my disposal are certainly required to keep the Iaxal at bay. Birdmen have grown restless of late, and I fear a storm may be brewing. In anticipation of this, I have been compelled to spread our forces throughout the Twelveswood, lest we be taken unawares. The situation so being, we must return. We must turn to others to deal with the lambs of Dalamud. Can we rely on you to undertake this task, friend? Sure. Yeah, you betcha. You have my gratitude. Once you've seen to your preparations, pray make your way to the Deepcroft and identify yourself to the guard posted at the entrance. He will apprise you of the least, the latest developments. That is all. Uh, be careful out there. You hear? May the crystal guide you and keep you. Nice. Okay. That is where we'll end it. You've been watching on twitch.tv slash skipperj, where I stream every Tuesday and Thursday around 9 p.m. Eastern and one day on the weekend. One week later, those videos go live on YouTube at youtube.com slash skipperj, where the group I game into playlists in order chronologically... So you can watch the playthrough from beginning to end. Yes, my face has been watching Space Pig. I've been watching the game I was playing. The game I was playing. I was watching. If you'd like to support me, you can head over to ko-fi.com slash skip for J, which is my Kofi link page thing, and buy me a coffee there. Or you can head over to, or you can purchase a, uh, a, a sub to me here on Twitch and give Bezos some more money in return for some emotes. Or, you can check out my Writery Goodness page where my fiction is on sale on, in both Dead Tree and electronic formats. And, or, you can head over to my webcomic at fofcomic.com where paper issues of the comic are available there to, to purchase there. Uh, I, may, I may be in a change, uh, uh, coming up on a change of self-publishing 
platform as well soon. So we'll see about that. We'll see. Like the word small press has also been thrown around. So we shall see. Um, anywho, remember, even when you just can't get enough quests for the life of you, you're awesome. And you've got this.